It's that time of year and I need to decorate, but this year I'm doing it a little differently. I'm doing it in mixed reality. I have my headset, I've got my holiday spirit, so let's get building. There absolutely needs to be a gun that shoots a string of lights. Non-negotiable. If I can't make that happen, project's canceled. I'll need to be able to spawn other objects too, so some presents, some stockings, some wreaths, anything that brings in a little bit more festivity festiveness. This one's a little more time dependent, but I would love to have some basic animations for some of the decorations. I feel like it would just add a bit more life and magic to each scene. But if nothing else, we need glowing lights and lots of sparkles. For what I want to do this time, I think I'm going to have to make some of my own assets, but I'm still going to check out the store and see if there's something I can use for the other decorations. <laughs> All right, my plan here is to use raycasts, instantiations, and line renderers. A raycast is a way that I can shoot an invisible beam from my controller. When that beam hits an object, it can tell me the exact location of that hit. I can then use that information to spawn or instantiate a new object on the same location. This creates the illusion of a gun because I can spawn an object wherever I point or shoot from my controller. When it comes to the light gun, spawning the lights are the easiest part, but the wire that connects them, that's gonna be a bit more difficult. My plan is to use what's called a line renderer. It makes a line by taking in multiple locations and then just draws a line between them. So the idea is that I can use the location information from my raycast hits and feed them into the line renderer. So it can then draw out a line, or in this case, a wire, to connect all the lights. It sounds good in theory, but we'll have to see if it works out in reality. Mixed reality. I'm gonna keep the rest pretty simple and do a festive reskin of the spawner that I made for my fort building video. This will give a visual for the spawn point and a UI to select the objects. Here's a prototype for the light gun. I ended up going with a crosshair that shows exactly where you're aiming. It works by sending out a raycast each frame and sets the position of the crosshair to that hit location. I also set up the spawner. It checks each frame to see if the trigger has been pressed, and if it has, a light appears in the same spot. Now I just need to figure out the wire. Why do I feel like this is going to take me all day? Okay, so it took a while and it might not be the best solution, but it works. I expanded the original function by spawning a wire prefab that is really just a line renderer along with some sounds. The line renderer starts with zero positions, so I have to increase the amount of positions before setting that first point. OVR.getDown only checks to see if the trigger was activated that frame, so it won't reset until the trigger's released. Next, I check to see if the trigger is being held down. If it is, more lights will be spawned, but only after the timer runs out, and that's how we control the rate of fire. I separated these two spawners because I only want one line renderer for each string of lights. This way, I can use the line renderer from the first spawn and feed it the positions of the lights from the second one. Finally, I check to see if the trigger has been released to reset the function. I also added a little switch statement to change the color of lights as they spawn. Okay, this is the result of all that nonsense. Everything's working, so I will see you in the living room. Woo! Oh, yeah! Oh, my God! Oh, yeah. So I did actually end up creating some animations and some objects that move around a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, the squeaking is maybe not the best idea. Uh, but you work. Yeah, this is questionable. Okay, so he's living there, and he's staring at me. Ah, it's so unsettling. I thought that would be cool. It's kind of creepy. But, uh, yes. Snowman is less creepy. There, I don't know about you, man. And their heads don't, they just spin full 360. That's something that would be nice to be different. Ah. Ah. Um, I don't really know what you are. You're here. That's what matters. I need you out of the way. Ugh. Time to decorate. Lovely. Let's get some presents under the trees. Slay. Oh, that's a good spot. You sit there. All right, you're cuter now. A little bit. Gotta hang some stockings. All right. Blends right in. It's festive. It's nice. Ooh. Look at this. A little candy cane in the stocking. Golden turkey. And the final touch. A little bit of snow. <laughs> A little bit more snow falling. I thought I'd make a nice cute little workshop full of teddy bears and it'd be nice and sweet. And then this happened. <laughs> Gotta make this more cute. This is, uh, not. This is not. I'm making a pile of golden turkey. Let's go. Let's go. Greatest present of all, golden turkey. This whole project was definitely a success, but the whole cuteness, sentimental vibe I was going for did not really happen in the end. It was actually kind of scary sometimes. Nonetheless, I had a blast, and I hope you did too. If you want to see more about the object spawner or just general mixed reality fun, check out my Fort Builder video. Also, let me know if you liked the in-depth explanations or if you'd like a little less wordy approach. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.